how to create a nutrition and healthy eating resources website for free using squarespace.com hey guys welcome to this new video in today's video i'm going to show you how you can create your own website for free using squarespace.com platform so let's get started by clicking on the get started button and here it will take us to the templates that will help us build our own website with ease so here you can filter the templates by the type or the topic if your template or if you want to create an online store or a portfolio or a memberships or blog or a services website and here about the topic if your niche is about art and design or health or health and beauty or food which is our niche in this case it's nutrition and healthy eating resources so let's go with food and let's see if we can find something something about healthy nutrition so i can't seem to find anything like that so let's just go with food and let's see what this platform offers so here we have some templates that are about food and here we have the blank template for those who want to build their own website from scratch so this is an empty template you can use if you want to build your own website from scratch this is about italian cooking and i think this one is what i need let's preview this template to see let's click on view demo site a mindful nutrition as a way of life so i think this one would work very good for me work with mira coaching the ideal choice if you want to a personalized plan that is tailored to your goals and lifestyle online courses courses live events improving your relationship with food so i think this is about eating healthy so i'm going to use this one i think it's a good template so just click on start with this design and you wait for them to set things up for you it will take just some seconds and then they will request a title for your website so you can just type in the name of your niche or you can close the this step if you don't want to give it a title but for me i'm going to type a title and then click continue and then close these tabs we don't need them anymore and on our left you can see some sections and i'm going to explain every section for you to make it obvious for you so let's start with the website by clicking on it so in this section you can create new pages or you can adjust the ones that you already have or you can delete them if you don't like them anymore so you can pretty much do, do all of that and you can adjust adjust them the way you want you can also change the members area the member areas as you can see the live events live workshop details one-on-one -on -one coaching so you can play with all these pages let's go back home and let's proceed to the next section which is the commerce section and it's where you can manage your orders inventory customers and discount you can also manage your memberships custom merch project management if you want to add new products or set up the ways to get paid or choose a subscription plan so you can do all of that in this area then we have the scheduling sorry i skipped one the marketing area or the marketing section it's basically everything related to growing your audience from email campaigns to see your appearance to promotional pop-up to the pixels and ads then we have the marketing section uh sorry i went through this one before let's go to the scheduling section and it's where your clients can 
book appointments with you or meetings to go one-on-one -on -one with you if you want to explain something or if you want to convince them to buy your to buy your services or whatever you're selling so you can set your calendar in this section and set your availability then we have the asset library and it's where you can save your files or upload your images and leave them here to use while designing to use later while designing your website then we have the analytics and it's where you can see your dashboard and all of your data from the revenue units units sold orders conversion rate eov your traffic your traffic sources search keywords and all of that then we have the profiles and it's where you can adjust the profiles of your clients you can check them or delete one of your clients profiles if you don't want a client anymore and then you have the settings and also help which is pretty obvious help is if you encounter any problem you can just go to help and you will find a solution and settings we will dive into it here you can change your domains or add one if you don't have it yet also you can set up your google workspace and change the site's availability from private to public change the site's languages also you can set the store payments or the payment processors by connecting your stripe account or your paypal account or your square if you are from the united states only and also you can change the currency of your store from here from the united states dollar to any currency you want so that was it for these sections let's go to the editing phase by clicking on the edit button this page will expand to give us more flexibility to design our own website so as you can see here in the top you can edit the site's header by clicking on it and by scrolling down to the bottom you can edit the footer also and you can pretty much edit everything in between those two from these sections to pictures to blocks to the shapes of the buttons to texts to the headlines as you can see you can change all of these of these things you can pretty much change the place of a, a section by just clicking on this arrow or you can edit the section or remove it so you can pretty much play with all these adjustments so that's it for today's video guys i hope you find it useful don't forget to like the video subscribe to our channel and share the video with your friends